our Pennsylvania theme park road trip rolls into Wallamere today and Waterworld. But just based on the, the parking lot, uh, it uh, looks like a pretty busy day. Oh, there goes a nice little train. Um, but everyone seems to be in the water park, so let's go check it out. Hopefully the ride lines are not long. Now this is the main entrance. Um, I'm guessing this came with the water park expansion a year or two ago. Um, normally the main entrance was like way back there, much further back uh, and past the picnic grove. So nice new uh, main entrance here for Waldemir. All right, we are inside the park here at Waldemir. You can see uh, tons of trees. We're on their uh, sky ride, which is a little bit unique. It's like a uh, chairlift, ski lift style. The park is a, basically a giant L um, where we left you coming in at the entrance is kind of down there. And that comes back this way with review flyers being behind me. And that kind of goes down, the, down there by the uh, drop tower. Not a very big park, but there's a lot packed in. You know, you can see flat rides and picnic pavilions, the junior coaster there. You see um, like uh, one of those, uh, what are those call rides called? Uh, it's like a magic carpet. Is yeah, magic carpet, yeah. Uh, over there, you got log flume. So they have a walk through. Yeah, walk through the Wacky Shack. We're gonna show you all that here in a moment. Um, so yeah, welcome to Waldemir. Um, they do have a, a giant water park over there. I did not bring my water park supplies. So um, I won't be showing you the water park. Plus it's like 75 degrees. It's a little cool for me, uh, Florida guy, for going to a water park. They did do a big expansion. So uh, pretty decent water park. But uh, let's go out and check around the rides. Not planning on walking to this side of the park, so you're going to use the sky ride as an excuse to film the uh, disco. Uh, it does have the hump, but it still goes up pretty high. A uh, neat little ride here, kind of at the back corner of the park. You got the main parking lot over there with the uh, other parking lot on the other side there. There's a really cool looking fountain there. Stay classy, Waldemir. Nice job. All right, just got off Ravine Fire 2. Man, that's a great ride. You see the bridge there. That's where it crosses over a road and goes outside the park. The view from the top's awesome. How's it running, guys? Amazing. It's running great. So good, so good. You can like see Canada from it, maybe even Magnum. I don't know, you can see everything. It's a great view. The Statue of Liberty. Yeah, yeah. Antarctica, everything. 32 North. And here's what really makes Ravine Flyer interesting. Theme park there. The other part of it is across. What the hell room. is this thing? Whoa, what is that? Uh, so there is a first drop, and here is where it crosses over the road uh, outside the park and up to do this like weird turnaround over there. Makes it really cool. And then it looks like there's some, some cool peach bars down here. Eh, something to know. See, we didn't even plan on telling you where you could go eat in the video, um, but it looks like uh, Sarah's Beach Bar could be a, a, a fun place. She also has a campground. It smelled good from the ride. Here's one of the parks, one of their more unique rides, old style, wacky shack. You can see the cars coming here, and then halfway through the ride you have that little dip down section in the middle. So that was the wacky shack, what do you, what do you think, Beard? I love the wacky shack. It's so cool, it like adds no theme to it. Like, one, one scene is like horror, yeah, one scene is horror, the next one's like fun house. Uh, I'm pretty much a wimp when it comes to horror. It's not scary at all. There's like a couple of like noise jump things, but a couple little jump scares. Yeah, I mean, it's not like a like a someone jumps out of you or anything, but but really cool overall. Uh, this is a must must ride when you come here. Log booms are becoming rarer and rarer, and here you got a double drop log boom. You got sizable drop there, and then a second drop uh, over here. For that's basically the whole ride you see right there. It does have an on-ride photo, which makes it a little bit different. Steel Dragon, not 2000, uh, is the park's other major uh, roller coaster. Kind of at the end, this kind of anchors the one end of the park here. Quick note, uh, not all rides open at park open. I really said it posted at 12 uh, p.m. open, but several rides don't open to one, so. It varies on the day, but be sure to kind of dig into it a little bit if you're planning on coming in. I really love these kind of spinning coasters. This is basically a laugh track at uh, Hershey Park. Um, it just rides really smooth, and with singing back to back, 
even though that might seem nauseating, it, it really makes the experience uh, more enjoyable. It's not that out of control, like um, SBF uh, mouse disease or the rubber shown or however you say it, uh, kind of spinning. A lot more smoother uh, here. Really enjoy the ride. With Steel Dragon at this end of the park, this is uh, this feels a little bit more like the modern era. You got, I think you got some really old school building there, and uh, but, um, got this drop tower right here. And this is one of those crazy drop towers where you don't know when it's going to stop because of those overhead, and it just drops you as soon as it gets to the top. That's pretty cool. Check out these food prices here. Uh, really reasonable. A six-piece chicken nugget for four fifteen. You can't even get that at McDonald's. No, a quarter pound cheeseburger four bucks. Like yeah. I mean, the food doesn't look anything special, but man, for that price, and water for two sixty, yeah. like that's like half the price I think what Kennywood was charging, yeah. or some of those other parts. Pepperoni balls four twenty five. When you think of pepperoni, you usually think of pizza, but if you want a pizza version, five forty five. Is that is he buying one? He's getting some straight up balls, not pizza balls. Just straight up balls. Okay, straight up balls. All right, so uh, we're back at it. We have the balls. Signature food item here at Waldemere, pepperoni balls. Ah, and what's the dipping sauce? Is uh, that ranch? It's ranch. Okay, not would have thought that. No. So what do you got? You got pepperoni inside and that's it? I, I think so. How is it? The bread part is delicious. <laughs> no go on the pepperoni? Um. I took the second bite to get the pepperoni and it is really good. I would, 10 out of 10, I would recommend this. How, how, but how does it taste with ranch? You're good, because I mean, don't you put ranch on pizza? Oh, I don't know, you just got the comment section uh, going crazy on that one. Well, there you go, balls, pepperoni balls. Any part that has these is a win. In the clown's mouth! Bark has a classic CP Huntington model train engine. Kind of goes around here by the water park, through the pavilion. You get some good views of ravine flyers on it, so uh, something to check out if you're interested. The mascots have made an appearance. You got Wally and Wendy. Interesting mascots for sure. Do you see it? Do you see it? Look, look, look closely. Wendy's the party. I just showed you the mascots. She has her own ride. And then Wally, don't forget about him. He's got his own ride too. Ravine Flyer 2 is great, but have you been on Ravine Flyer 3? Look at this over the water action. Now, I was always told you can't ride it, but Mr. Drew the intern informed us that we can. So we're trying to get some get our credit here. So let's do this. Uh, insider tip, you thought Potato Pass was just Kennywood or Idlewild? Nope, they got them here too. It must be like just a big old uh, Pennsylvania thing. So, potato patch fries. Uh, you got the prices there. Uh, not too bad. Four forty-five. There you go. Another uh, unique attraction they have here is uh, Pirates Cove Walkthrough Funhouse. Has all the gimmicks you can imagine. So, uh, come along with us. Let's go. Let's go check this thing out. All right, let's go in. Uh oh. Little shaker boards. <laughs> oh, okay. everyone's going. Everyone's good. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where I'm going. Oh, there's a nice breeze down here. Oh, yeah, it feels good. Whoa, low ceiling warning, low ceiling warning. Oh. Got it done. I like the chartreuse. <laughs> it's your color. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, got like a shark over here. What's this? Oh, I see projection mapping. Oh, disco time. Uh-oh. This isn't going to end well for people. Yeah. <laughs> we got like things going on here. 
Well, I can't go in yeah, well, All right, we're picking back up in this room right here. <laughs> after, that, after that hard edit. <laughs> I already said this is better than Noah's Ark. Everything's actually working. Is it moving or is it just me? It's just you. It's okay. just you. Oh, oh. oh. What is this? Oh. Now we're in like some like laser horror night. Yeah, laser tag. <laughs> A lot longer than I thought this thing would be. Yeah. And make a cool haunt. Mm -hmm. Oh. And we got some. Oh, here's a pirate and the shark. Oh, rope bridge. More narrow passageway. That's an animatronic right there. Yeah. Uh oh. How do we get out of here? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Yeah, this way. This way. So claustrophobic in here. <laughs> I know. I was saying they have to weigh people because not big people wouldn't be able to fit through. Oh, that's awkward. Nice breeze, nice breeze. I think that, that takes us to the end here. So the last ride we have, uh, the last coaster we have today is the Comet. And this is a very uh, similar design. You, you see this a lot. Uh, it's kind of similar to like the Junior uh, um, uh, Woodstock Expresses, the wooden coasters at the Cedar Fair Parks, um, the wooden coaster at the Columbus Zoo, among others. But this one actually was built in 1953. And surprisingly, it's running two trains. Which was uh, rare to see so far on our Pennsylvania trip, but the seat's close to the woods. Uh, it's just basically a figure eight. Comes over top of the station here. It's definitely old, and you can see they had to reinforce some of the ride, but buzz bars, old school style. Uh, a design that's been copied many a time, but this is one of the first. Yeah, old, old ride too. This has to be one of the older wooden coasters in the country. All right, trying to do this without being creepy, so I had to wait for the cycle to be over. But you got uh, these Hampton vehicles here. You got like a Humvee for kids to ride it. And then I've never seen this before, uh, snowmobiles. That's, uh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Earlier in the video, we showed you the, uh, the Sarah's place we found just on the other side of Ravine Flyer. This is actually a pretty cool place. Wish we had time to eat. You got like Simpson characters, old timey diner. Um, yeah, right, uh, literally like two minutes from the park. You probably could walk here if you wanted to, but parking's free, so just drive. There goes Revy Flyer, and we're wrapping up the video from the same ride we began the video on here. The uh, chairlift uh, overview of uh, Waldemir Beard. Well, I think we're pretty much in agreement. Uh, this is one of our uh, favorite small parks, right? Like this, absolutely. It's so good, so good. There's not really a bad ride here. No, you got Revy Flyer's excellent wooden roller coaster. We all love that one. The spinning dragons for a wild mouse type ride, really good. Yeah, I, I think those models of spinning spinning coasters, as far as the uh, off the shelf models go, is probably the best one. I, I agree. And then you have the uh, family coaster somewhere in the woods. You can kind of see the train going up there. Um, and the really cool mixture of uh, flat rides, the wacky shack, the walk through. Um, it's definitely not a park that you could spend all day at. Um, I think we're here. The part place is slammed. But there's still not a lot of long lines. Everyone's in the water park and spread out well. But what do you say? Probably like a three, four hour park max? Yeah, I give it three or four hours. What I recommend doing is they do actually have an after five wristband that'll save you a couple bucks. Um, if you come in with that, uh, then you can also experience uh, Ravine Flyer 2 at night. Oh, that'd be really cool. Also the sunset because the sunset actually, oh, yeah, the sun actually the... sets over the water. Yeah. So um, I actually enjoy coming here in the evening. Um, if you live on the east coast, it's uh, if you're going to Cedar Point, it's maybe maybe about three hours away from Cedar Point. Oh, perfect! Uh, so it's kind of a, a good place to stop if you're coming from the east coast. And going to Cedar Point. Yeah, and a good point about the tickets. They do do a wristband, which we got, uh, but they also do a paper ride. Uh, so you can do still paper ride. So if you're just looking coming here and hit a couple credits, you could do that. But this is also. 
uh, kind of deceiving, kind of like in Nobles. You don't want to just pop in for a couple roller coaster credits. You definitely want to do the Wacky Shack and, and, and Pirates Go. So it's probably best just to buy the wristband because you're going to want to ride, ride Review Flyers at least three or four times and uh, do some of that wacky stuff there too. So uh, that's kind of wrapping up here from Waldemere. It's this really great park, uh, Erie, Pennsylvania, on Lake Erie. That's Lake Erie, same lake as Cedar Point. Um, about an hour and a half south of Buffalo, and like you said, about three hours uh, what, east of Cedar Point. So check it out. Oh, oh, okay. Whoa, whoa. Oh, 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 yep, okay.